This video is strictly for entertainment and education only. I do not condone or encourage any action mentioned within the video. Do not replicate any action. I do not confess or take responsibility for any of the actions mentioned in the video. This is fictional content and should be treated as such. Hello, my name is Jeffrey Hart, and today I come to you with a story, a story of pain and misery about the time I almost broke my hand when I was a teenager in Lyon, France. To give you some context, I was 18 years old, backpacking through Europe, solo mission, just by myself, and I happened to be in Lyon, France. I only had two days in Lyon, and this was my second, and so the next day, I was going down to Switzerland. And so this day in Lyon, France, I decided, you know, to have some fun, you know, go to a park, drink some drinks, eat some bread, and maybe take some truffles that I might or might not have smuggled from Amsterdam. So I go to a park, I got a whole bunch of food, a whole bunch of drinks, and the truffles, and I'm just sitting on a bench, just enjoying the day. I'm eating, I'm drinking, and after a while, I down a whole bottle of vodka, not like a Grey Goose bottle, like a flask of vodka, all right? And I down that. And... When I'm drunk, the only thought I have is, hey, let's get more drunk. And so I stumbled my way over to another liquor store and proceeded to get, you know, another bottle of vodka, obviously, since vodka is just so cheap. So I get myself another bottle of vodka. I go to another park and lay down. I'm laying down on some concrete. I don't even know where I am or what I was doing, but I was tripping so hard and I was so drunk that I just could not comprehend the world i just had headphones on listening to dear hank and john while i was just absolutely faded out of existence in this park in leon france all right so after a while of doing this it starts to get pretty late it starts to get you know the sun starts to come down a little bit and it's getting a little little bit darker not too dark just a little bit darker and so i decide let's walk back to the hostel obviously that's where i'm staying that's where i sleep and that's where you know that's good resting place but you know two bottles of vodka down and you know shrooms truffles they're different truffles and so i'm just kind of just faded just walking down to this hostel and i get to the hostel and i go to my bed and i proceed to take off all my clothes besides my underwear i still got my underwear on but i'm just damn near nude in this hostel bed and to give you some context there's probably about 16 other people in this hostel it's crazy it's packed so many more people you don't want to be nude. That's just a rule of thumb. You don't want to be nude in front of these people. That's kind of weird. And so I'm just squirming. I'm just fucking twitching. I'm just tweaking out in this bed only with my underwear on. And so I'm like, I need to use the bathroom. And so I jump off my bed and just get my clothes back on and then go to the bathroom. And then after I leave the bathroom, which took much longer than you might have think because it was getting dark, number one, and I'm just out of this world. So it took like 20 minutes just to use the bathroom because I wanted to be quiet. I wanted to be respectful even though I was out of this world. I want to be respectful of the people that are just trying to sleep. And so I get out of the bathroom and I'm like, wouldn't it be just such a great idea to go walk around the streets of Leon at night? And it sounds like a good idea. And so I did it, but I didn't have shoes on. I didn't have shoes on. So I was just walking fully clothed, socks on, no shoes, walking around the block at l like nine o'clock. And as, as I was doing this, I just thought to myself, hey, wouldn't it be such a cool idea if I just started punching these brick walls as hard as I could with my right hand? And so I just started doing that, just slamming my hand against these walls, slapping brick walls, just rubbing my knuckles against the concrete as I walk. Because that night, my objective was to break my hand. I'm not even joking. That was my thought process. I was like, I want to break my hand by the end of the night. And so for several minutes, I'm just walking in circles around this block in my hostel area in Lyon, France. No shoes, absolutely drunk out of my mind absolutely tripping out of my mind trying to break my hand and it's all bloody it's all bruised it's just bare bones and after a while i'm just like no nah, this is good this is good and so i just stop i just stop i just end it i just freeze and i just proceed to walk back to my hostel and before i walk back to my hostel in the alleyway of one of the streets i was walking around were some guys just playing cards the whole night the whole time and i would pass them a few times and I would never look at them, and they would never look at me. It was kind of a weird situation. Like, I didn't want to go up to them because I knew I was I was just absolutely faded. And they probably didn't want to talk to me because they knew I was absolutely faded. And so, that was just kind of just a weird circumstance just overall. But I eventually make it back to the hostel, and I lay down. And then the next day, I got to wake up at 7 o'clock in the morning, head towards Switzerland. And 
if I, even if I didn't do this the night prior, waking up at seven o'clock in the morning to get on a train, go to a different country is kind of, you know, a tiring thing. You got to walk, you got your bag and, you know, take a train. But this morning when I woke up, I was so unbelievably sick, injured, hungover and tired. I felt so bad. Probably the worst feelings I've ever had in my life. My hand was bruised in unimaginable ways. It was bloody. It was just absolutely messed up. It hurt just to move my hand and move my fingers. And so that correlated with the fact that I was sick. I don't know if it was somebody in the hostel. I think it was. There was somebody coughing the whole night. Or my dumbass walking around a city at night alone. No shoes on. That might have made me ill. And also, I was hungover because, you know, of the two bottles of vodka I downed within one, probably not not one hour, maybe maybe a few hours, maybe two, three hours. And so, I, everything hurt. Mentally, I was fucked. Physically, I was fucked. And I had to get on this train to go to Switzerland so I could be on schedule. And that's about it. Thanks for watching. Bye.